Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are installing the GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card on a Dell Precision T3600. So one thing you definitely want to keep in mind is your power supply. They do recommend at least a 300 watt power supply for this graphics card. So let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall all the current graphics card drivers. So the current graphics card is an NVIDIA Quadro 2000, I believe. And I just want to remove the current uh, graphics card driver so that we can do a clean install. But to be honest, you could probably get away without uninstalling these because the current graphics card is an NVIDIA and the new one is also an NVIDIA one. But I've had issues in the past, so I figured just do a clean install and just uninstall all the current drivers. If you look at the version, it is 377 for the current graphics card driver. So definitely something you want to keep in mind in case you don't uninstall it because the new graphics card drivers is 461s, I believe. So when you're uninstalling the graphics card drivers, keep in mind that the screen might turn black for a few seconds and the resolution is going to change. So I counted about six uh, graphics card drivers for, for this current graphics card that we have. It's, it might be different for you depending on what graphics card you have. So it's going to require a reboot and then we shut it down. Now we can remove the power cord and then we are going to hold down the power button for a few seconds to discharge any stored energy. Now we are going to open up our side panel here. And then, so this computer actually came with uh, some sort of PCIe RAID controller, which I've just been bypassing in the BIOS, so I'm going to disconnect it and remove it. Most likely, you won't have this in your computer. Uh, it was kind of random because I did get this used, and it just came with it. So we're going to push down this blue clip here and then push it forward to unlock it. So let me give you guys a, another um, angle here. So this is what the blue clip looks like. You push it down. You don't even need a tool. You push it down and forward. So it took me a while to figure this out too. Go. So you push it down up here and forward. Okay, now we can remove this uh, RAID controller. So I move that there. So let me get us a different angle here so you guys can see better. So you can see this blue thing right here. I'm going to move that and lift this up. I better use two hands. There we go. Easy peasy. So the RAID controller is out. Now we do the same thing for the current graphics card. And then here's the blue clip. There we go. Easy peasy. So it's the Quadro 2000. Sweet. So it doesn't have an HDMI uh, on it. So it's good that we're doing an upgrade. So now we have the 1650. So like I said, definitely check your power supply. They do recommend at least 300 watts. Here's our documentation on it. And... And it does come with a low profile bracket as well. So if you're working with a low profile computer, but we are not going to need that for us today. So you got your plastic covers, we got an HDMI, you got your DVI, I guess. And oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys this, the PCIe 16 slot. So it's the motherboard layout, uh, just in case uh, people were wondering. So apparently it's an accelerated graphics slot is what it's called. So now we need to free up a second space here to make room for the graphics card. It's a little bit dirty. So I'm going to move this over here to where the RAID controller was. Right. There we go. Clean it up real quick. Now we have our new graphics card. We want to remove the plastic covers. So yeah, it's HDMI and DVI, and then we have this right here. Voila. So we just gently slide it in, and you're definitely going to hear a clicking sound too. 
So let me put that audio in. Perfect. So let me give you guys another um, a top view. So you're going to see that. See, I went on top of the screws there. But uh, you won't need a screwdriver for this job. You know, you can use your fingers. And then you can see that it took up two, two spots right there. We're going to secure it now using these blue plastic clips. And then we return the side panel. And then we plug in our monitor to the HDMI. Well, in this case, I'm actually using a, um, a capture card so that I can record the tutorial for you. So current resolution right now is 1024. And then let me show you guys something real quick. So you're going to see that in the display adapters, it just shows Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. That's how I know that we do not have a graphics driver installed yet. So I'm going to go straight to the NVIDIA website. In the instructions in the graphics card box, it told me to go to MSI first. But it pretty much just redirected me. So I figured it's just easier to just go direct to the source. So NVIDIA, and then I'm going to go for GeForce drivers because this is a GeForce graphics card. So here are the manual driver search settings I use. Uh, Windows 10, so GeForce GTX 1650. And then we download the latest driver, which is a 461.09 version. So we download that. Once it's downloaded, we install it. And then I'm going to do a launch. And then here we go. So it's going to check our system compatibility. So I'm just going to go for the Express, I guess. Let me check something. Yeah, okay. I, I might as well install the GeForce Experience, I suppose. So here we are running the installing program so you're gonna notice that the screen might turn black for a few seconds and stuff like that and then after the inside definitely highly recommend doing the reboot so once it's installed I'm gonna do close so like I said I am uh, recording right now through a capture card so I won't play around too much with the settings right now I'm just gonna change the resolution to 1080p for now I'm gonna do a Apply, but definitely uh, check your settings and everything. You know, check your monitor and then the check out the GeForce experience too if you want. But for me, since I'm on a capture card, I'm just gonna do a reboot first, and then let me show you guys device manager. So now it recognizes the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. So we are good, and then let me show you the control panel as well just to show you the program the drivers that we have currently installed so it looks like oh nice earlier if you guys noticed there were six uh, drivers for the Quadra 2000 now we only have five so that's good so yeah that's why I was kind of curious but here are some screenshots too so for the GPU you now have four gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory and eight gigabytes of shared GPU memory compared to four gigabytes and I ran some uh, benchmarks. So you got a Nova Bench of 752, definitely a big improvement there. 105 frames per second with 2663 OpenCL flops. So Cinebench was actually strange. It actually scored exactly the same, 778. So imagine my surprise. But um, we have the user bench. So here's the average, 43.4%. And then you have the Quadra 2000, which is, I guess, terrible. So here's the um, Geekbench Pro score. So it was an open CL score and you can see there's a big difference there. One thing you're going to notice is that the Quadro did not have a CUDA score. I couldn't run a CUDA score for it. It didn't have the option. And it did not have a Vulcan score as well. So that was, um, you know, so definitely a difference there. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching everybody. Take it easy.